All right, man, Torture Talk. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, man. Look, man. Look, man. Look, man. So today, we're going to be talking about Young Thug tweeting from jail to Future, telling him he should squash the beef with Drake. And um, yeah, we're going to get into that, man. Before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a con, if you want to leave a, a donation, links will be on the screen. Cash at PayPal's in the description. They call me the Hidden Gym. I went through 1,300 subscribers to over, to over 11,000. I should be 12,000, maybe in a couple of days and a million by Monday morning. All right. So look, tell me where you're from too. So let's get it, man. We gonna come back and discuss. <laughs> All right, this comes courtesy of academics. You know what it is. So let's get it. About some bullshit. Money man says the Bible giving the most game about us speaks on the Bible. Yeah, that's true. Future supposedly retweeted this shit. So Future seems like he's on board, right? So Future has reposted the tweet from Young Thug saying, Drake, Future, and Metro, we're all brothers. Um, music ain't the same without us collabing. Well, music. Hmm. I mean... Eventually, people are going to have to get back to what they normally do. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly think that I'm sure Young Thug seen and heard Kendrick body the hell out of Drake. And I'm thinking that that's the reason why he's saying this, because Drake is in a bad space right now. He's in a very bad space. And I noticed there's a lot of artists who want to help him, but they kind of scared of the boogeyman. <laughs> To be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? And I think that the boogeyman only only wanted Drake. He only wanted to come out and body snatch Drake and then go back into the night. That's all it was. I don't think he's really out to get anybody else. I think that when it comes to him, you just got to leave Kendrick alone. That's it. He is that guy. You do not want to mess with that dude. At least we know, like, People could say whatever they want, but he will body anybody in the industry. Anybody. You can pull anybody out. He's just too gifted. But I think that Drake is, is in dire need of help, and this is the reason why Young Thug said that. Because Young Thug is really cool with Drake. Well, at least that's what we think. You know what I'm saying? Because Drake says that, but obviously they have something. So I don't know. We'll see. It hasn't been the same since you've been behind bars, but I, I I do think that some conversation happened. I told y'all, Chad, some conversation clearly happened. So Drake, Future, Metro, and probably some liaison was somebody connected to Thug. I I, I think they've, they've had a conversation, which is good, which is good. Like, it's one thing we've realized about, you know, Drake. He clearly didn't want to go with Future. Like, he even said... Yo, um, future that shit being like me and you falling down made me sick to my stomach. Then he blamed on me. So you can't really trust what Drake say. And the thing is, I watched a little documentary about future, and they broke down the, the they broke down the reason why Drake and Future are not really speaking. And I think Drake. I think there's some people Drake probably was more friends than they were friends to him. And I think that he admires Future. I think Drake is more in the lines of he likes how Future move. You know what I'm saying? I think he kind of wants to be Future. The same thing with LeBron. I think he kind of admired LeBron in a sick, in a, in a, I ain't gonna say sick twisted way, but in a way he kind of admired LeBron. And that's what I think it is between the two. I just think that he looked up the future because future does a lot of things that I think Drake probably would want to do. 
You know what I'm saying? So. So he's like, yo, it's probably that nigga who set it up. Like, he he's clearly never wanted to go against Future because I believe that if Drake ever went against Future, that's like going against Atlanta. And Future, he loves, uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> look at Grandma's right here. This shit's giving me like a, yeah, no, no, I think 100% Future is, um, you know, I think it's some petty shit. Like, the, you know what the rumors were? were? Future feel away about Drake doing doing um a collab album with Twenty One Savage after they did a collab album, which I was confused about because Future did mad collab al albums with mad niggas. You get what I'm saying? I heard that too, but I don't know if that's the case. I I don't know if that's the case. I think that Future knows some things about Drake that he just doesn't sit comfortable with him. I mean, and, and and it's probably it's probably because. They probably, I think they did have a, a second project that they were supposed to do a release and Drake. See, the thing is, Drake's, a, Drake's an industry whore when it comes to music. He's an industry whore. And a lot of people want him because they know that they're going to, it's guaranteed that they're going to get some type of streams. So they, they, they want him to be on their records or whatever. I think that him doing something, now I, I, I kind of heard that 21 Savage and future got beef or whatever I'm, i don't really want to speak on how i really feel about 21 savage i'm just saying um as far as the beef goes whatever like whatever like I, I i just don't get it but i think that that's the reason why future probably felt some type of way because they got a project already together i think and it's just it just it never came out so let's keep it going. They won with, with with Metro just now. He he did one with um Young Thug. He did one with um Juice. Well, did he do one with Juice World? Yeah. Like Future's done Mad Collab album. So since what a time to be alive. So why does he expect Drake should only work with him? Like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, you and Drake got But you see how this is this is what makes me mad about people like academics. You see how everything is always everybody else's fault but Drake's fault. It's like what? Like <laughs> Like how are you sitting here saying that? Well, he should have did. He could have did something with uh, uh, uh. You basically blaming Future. Like, well, you did mad collab out. Well, maybe it wasn't Future fault. I don't know why this camera is doing that. I'm gonna um fix this. Yeah, I had to fix the camera. I don't know what happened to it. But yeah, it's always everybody else's fault but Drake. I just don't understand that. Look, it's still doing it. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm going to change this jaw. Because every time I, if I put my hand up, the light goes down. I don't know why it does that. Let me see. Let me, uh, I'm going to change it in real time. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just keep it like that. Yeah, so I don't know why, um, why he, uh, he does that. I have no clue. You know what I'm saying? But they always, they, to me, they always, I always feel like they always defending Drake. No matter what, he can never do no wrong. He never did anything wrong. It's always everybody else's fault. It's crazy as fuck. It's like, why are we always blaming all the other artists? Like, I don't understand it. Open relationship, my guy. You feel me? You do collab albums with other niggas. Drake could do collab albums with other niggas, but it probably is a little deeper, right? Maybe maybe Drake told him, "Yo, we're gonna do it this year," and then Drake pops out with with like the same type of formula, right? It's like street nigga, and then the singing guy, right? So I don't know, but future is down, so it's clear if we don't see no more, you know. And by the way, I do think Future wanted to humble Drake a little bit. And if you ask me, I would I would think that these guys have thought Drake has been humbled. You know what I mean? They, they've they've looked at it like, look how alone he looks. Um, all that I'm the best. I don't need nobody. I'm oh niggas need me. He, he finally realizes like, nah, dog. That relationship ain't been like that for probably over ten years now. Like w this is some mute. I don't. I mean, that's a good theory. Maybe they did do that. I don't know if they actually thought like 
maybe they should humble him. I think that, I think the culture humbled him. And I also think that Kendrick, it was, it was, they all moved out the way. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe Axe right. Maybe he's right. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe everybody moved out the way to let this ass whooping happen. And I'm surprised, to be honest with y'all. I'm really surprised that people let this happen. Maybe, maybe he's right. Maybe this was his time to actually be knocked down to show him you ain't, you ain't, you ain't that guy to keep going around saying that everybody needs you. Now you need us. I, I, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Actual shit, y'all. You probably, and if we're looking at the weighted scale. I, I think they're probably thinking Drake need them more than they need Drake. These guys do stadium or they do arenas without Drake. Um, they're getting number one albums without Drake. They're having hit songs without Drake. Like, again, some of these things mutually, uh, it was used to be exclusively you need a Drake in the mix for that. They're doing it without him. And what I think that Drake always needs is that Drake always needs that base that they have. Like needs that Atlanta base. That's a fact. Not gonna lie, that's a fact. He does need that base. You starting to see it now. Like you starting to see it now. Drake just hasn't been the same. I mean, and I wish people just come out and say it. He's has not been the same. He's not the same guy. Everything he's doing to me is just not. He ain't that guy. And this is the reason why he's where he's at today. That's just that. But he he is not that guy. But the street let the street type of wave, right? I think that's why he works with with um 21 Savage a good amount. Like him and Savage, it checks that box. So I think they've just realized that the power dynamic may have gotten a little bit different. Now, granted, Metro, I don't think like Metro's just a fucking producer. Nobody gives a fuck, you know what I mean? You told that nigga, shut the fuck up, make some drums. Nah, you can't do that. Mm -mm. Can't you can't you can't disrespect Metro like that. You can't. He's he's probably one of the hottest producers in the last ten years. You know what I'm saying? Even I would say five. The last five years, he's he's hit. He has no uh, countless hits. You can't say he's just a producer. Nah, because the producers are the ones that are just as valuable as the rappers. You know what I'm saying? Because without them, most of these rappers don't know how to make beats. They don't know how they could make beats, but they don't know what they're doing. You have to, you have to give Metro his props. He's a, he's 100% a part of this, just like everybody else. He's a key player in this, a major player. Key player, key player. But like Future is like a different beast. And I think Future, you know, he he obviously cares about Metro over Drake, right? Because he's down to stand on the issue with, with um Metro. Because I, I do think that we don't trust you as a Metro thing. Like in terms of this, these two projects and the direction. Which tells me that, yeah, there's some conversation that must have happened. Because I don't think Future without Metro being open to the idea of him crossing that picket line and even showing any love to Drake, I don't think that Future would do that without Metro already probably talking to Drake privately. So something must have happened. You know what I'm saying? All right, then. Hopefully hopefully that beef ends. And by the way, if that ends, that will be a smart move for Drake. You know what I mean? It'd be a really smart move for Drake. You know, even I mean, I get what I get what Axe saying, but at the same time, like again, this is all speculation. You can't really say that you think that uh I mean you could say whatever you want, but me personally, I I I think I definitely think it's a little deeper than uh what we what we see in. And I guess that's what it, what he's essentially saying, the same thing. But I don't think it's because Metro, you know, cohorsed uh, 
future into doing something against Drake. I just don't think that's the case. Because I don't think nobody can actually force Future to do anything he don't want to do. I think Future has a, a legitimate reason of why he's coming at Drake. You know what I'm saying? But but we can't forget, Drake, Drake dissed him. He dissed him. You know what I'm saying? He dissed him. We all know he hit it, but he we we know he dissed him because we know about Pluto. We know about all that. He he dissed him. People broke that down already. So I don't know why I is sitting here acting like Drake is so innocent. It's just it's just not the case. But uh Yeah, so right, which I think it's because Drake is just not that out in the front public with, you know, I know some of you are like, yo, what he feeds you rumors or, or narratives. If, if Drake kind of just like jacked it, like, yo, I just, I, I just killed, I went at 20 niggas and survived. It doesn't, you know what I mean? He could possibly gaslight the narrative that people don't look at like, oh, just Kendrick beat your ass. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Uh, make sure y'all go. Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna say go follow academics because uh, I know y'all all hate him. Well, some of y'all do, but all right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like this color. It seems like it's too bright. But uh, I guess I just have to do for now because my black ass on this camera. Every time I put my head down, the camera make me look like I'm Jama Hantu or some shit. So. But yeah, I agree with Charlemagne. I do think that uh that uh Drake it just not he's just not in the front on the front line anymore. He just he just looks he just looks defeated now. And I think he's he's kinda lost his way. That's just that's just what it is. So either way, man, y'all have yourself a good morning, man. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go get me some breakfast. <laughs> See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>